I OK, back again for part two. Um, so I'm going to talk in part two about the council tax rise, which is going to be uh, set for all uh, premises or properties in the county at the full council meeting, which is starting at 10 o'clock this morning. And that's going to be 4.99% for 2021. So over the next year, the council services will cost over £15 million more than they did in 2020. And that's largely due to um, higher costs for caring for people, whether they're children or adults, um, as a consequence of COVID. Um, and also some loss in income from uh, us not being able to trade in the same way that, that, that most other businesses can't in the normal way. Um, and sell the services that the council can charge for. Um, and we're looking, of that 15 million, we're looking to fund 3.8 million of that from a rise in council tax. And the remaining 11.2 million um, will be offset by what is going to be the largest savings programme that this council has ever uh, aimed to deliver in a single year. Um, and it's a massive challenge for us. So to realise that 3.8 million, the, the, the amount by which the council tax is going up uh, is 4.99%. And that's made up of 3%, which is ring fenced for rising social care costs, and 1.9% to go towards the cost of everything else that the council does. In previous years, each 1% uplift in council tax was able to generate as much as a million pounds in additional income to the council. This year, a percentage increase, each percent increase only delivers £760,000 because fewer households are paying any council tax at all. So our council tax base has gone down. And because of this drop in the amount of money raised by each percentage point increase this year and the 3% increase in council tax ring fence to support social care costs actually doesn't even keep the total amount of funding that is raised through council tax for social care on a par with that raised last year. Actually, the total amount of funding is, is dropping ever so slightly, even with that 3% increase. Um. So the council also budgets to provide support for hard up families who struggle in Herefordshire's low wage and high um, house price and high rent economy to pay their council tax. Now, ordinarily, we, we budget around £12 million for this type of support. It, it equates to about £12 million, um, which comes in the form of a, of a large discount on the amount of council tax that these households pay. In recent years, this discount has been set at 84%. But due to the impact of COVID on so many of our residents, this year we decided to increase that discount to 100%. Now, normally this sees around 6,500 households receiving this support, and that equates to about 1 in 10 uh, households in the, in the county, about 10%. And this coming year, we expect this figure to be even higher and have budgeted for additional £1.9 million of support to these families, which would equate, if we were going to generate it from council tax, of a 2.5% increase in council tax, um, based on how much we get per percentage point. But instead, we've used some one-off money that's been provided to us by government, which is called the New Homes Bonus. And this money is um, supposed to reward councils for extra housing that's been built in their areas over the last year. And for Herefordshire, despite COVID, <coughs> more homes have been built in the period that is assessed for qualification for this bonus than in previous years. Um, so we got a slightly more than we were expecting. Normally, we try to use this to accelerate the building of even more affordable homes because that's what's needed in Herefordshire. But this year, we felt that it was more important to use the money to help people to continue to live in the homes they already have. 
which is why we've used it to fund the increase in the council tax discount scheme. And we've also budgeted to expect that more people will come and access that scheme. We also plan to use some of the new homes bonus funding to make progress in the new transport plans for Hereford City so that we can start broadening the travel choices for people who live in the city. And by doing that, free up road space in the city for people who have no option but to use their cars to travel. The Council's 2020 budget also makes provision for a wide range of other investments. We've got investments in other forms of transport, um, school improvements. Um, we've, we're starting a build programme to deliver extra affordable, um, publicly owned, council owned homes for local people. Um, to invest in uh, economic development projects across the market towns um, so that people can live nearer to where they, sorry, work nearer to where they live. Um, we've put more money in the, uh, the capital programme for um, bridge repairs and improvements. We've got over 700 bridges in the county and uh, it's important that we keep those in good condition because uh, people rely on them to be able to move around. Um, investment in measures to clean up our polluted rivers and to improve drainage and flood management. That's just some of the things that, that we are um, planning to invest in in the coming year. Both council tax and business rates are forms of taxation which are uh, decided at a local level. The bigger and more valuable the, the properties that we own and the homes that we live in, the more we're expected to pay towards the services that everybody uses but which tend to be used most by the least well off in our communities. Council tax pays to ensure that somebody is there somewhere to care for people who become homeless and the vulnerable and the elderly and to pick up and dispose of our waste and make sure our shops trade safely and to see that development across the county takes, waste, it takes place in a planned and managed way and give thought to the services and infrastructure that's needed by everybody who lives here. Patch up our roads. I, I know we need to do more about that, but, you know, that really is about how much money we've got to be able to uh, pour into holes in the road. Um, picking up litter. And on that subject, uh, the community groups uh, around the county are doing an absolutely amazing job picking up uh litter um, and there's a lot on social media about it at the moment but really if you see people dropping litter if you if you're tempted to do it yourself just don't you take it home with you uh, put it in your pocket uh, put it in a bin um, that's what you do with litter you don't throw it on the floor or in the hedges or out the window of your car please don't you know Herefordshire is a lovely place um, and we really want to keep it that way. And I, I and everybody else would much rather spend money filling potholes or doing other things that people think of as important than racing around dealing with litter and fly tipping. Just don't, you know. And if someone offers to take your rubbish away cheaply, like really cheaply, there's a good reason for it. Worry that they might be dumping it in a hedge. Um, dispose of your rubbish sensibly and make sure that if you pay someone else to do it for you that they're going to do a proper job. Uh, in putting the budget together this year we've thought long and hard about the balance that needs to be struck um, between the needs of those most affected by Covid, those most vulnerable in our communities uh, um, uh, uh, against the uh, and balancing that against the ability of those who are, are better off and better able to pay a little bit more towards the services and the service mix that's required to meet ev uh, everyone's pressing needs. I know that not all of you watching this will think that we've got that balance right uh, between asking for more money and making provision to support those least able to pay. Um, if you think we should do things differently then um, uh, next year, then please now, while you think about it, while it's fresh in your mind, go to the council website and register to receive text alerts about council consultations 
and then you can feed into the consultation process which will go on next year like it's gone on this year um, to help us decide on the priorities um, and how we structure next year's budget and council tax. OK, that's the end of part two. Um, and I'll come back in part three and deal with the questions that people have posted on the Hereford Voice website, which are relating to the council tax. Uh, see you in a minute.